Hello everyone and welcome to your 13th Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial Understanding the Timeline In this tutorial we will talk more about the timeline in great detail So let's start The timeline is where to manage and add all your clips in media The so timeline is the time set or the storyboard of your project or the sequence. This consists the current time indicator CTI which we have talked about already. On the over the left is the time code of the CTI where the CTI currently is pointing. Over here is the time marks for example 0 seconds, 5 seconds and 10 seconds and so on. Now, below that what you have here is the work area. The work area is referred to as the area of focus where you currently want your work to be. Work area is one of the most important concepts that are used in all softwares such as After Effects and Premiere Pro. Now the work area determines the work you are doing in a certain area for example if you want to work only from 0 seconds to 20 seconds what you can do is you can click on the end of the work area left click and drag it and then your work area will snap from 0 to 20 seconds if you right click on the work area there comes many options the first is set sequence marker go to sequence marker set encode chapter maker and set flash queue maker so these options we will explore later on options now what we have here is the video tracks the video 1 2 and 3 will contain the video tracks first second and third below that are the audio tracks first second third and the master volume in the audio track what you see here let's talk about it on the left option you see a speaker type icon now this icon enables or disables the video the sound of this track so if we click on this we can shut off the audio for this channel that is the audio in this channel will not be rendered out let's put it back on again now this sign over here is the sign of stereo so if we have this particular sign in any audio track that means the audio is stereo for that track and this must be remembered because if the audio has stereo and you try to put mono into it it won't work and if it has mono and you try to put stereo into it it will not work these are the sound levels of the left and right channels and this is the stereo for the rest audio tracks now let's come to the video tracks what we have here in the video track on the left is the toggle track output button if we left click on that the video for that track will be disabled so we can disable video for any track by clicking on this eye we can click and it will shut off so guys that's all about the timeline and we will learn more in the later tutorials that's it for this tutorial and thank you for watching